Hi guys, thanks for joining. Today I will be talking about cyclosporine. Cyclosporine is one of the world's best known drugs in dermatology and maybe in medicine in general. It has potent immunosuppressive activity, what means that it significantly decreases the activity of the immune system. But does it mean that patients who are taking cyclosporine are at an increased risk of developing infectious diseases? Well, this is not so easy. Please join me to look at the details. Cyclosporine is being used by millions of people worldwide in nephrology and ophthalmology and organ transplantation, but also in dermatology. Cyclosporine is being used in dermatology in two main approved indications. This is psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. But we also use cyclosporine in dermatology in many other disorders such as alopecia areata, lichen planar pilaris, pyoderma ancrumosum, and many, many others. Our patients were very often concerned about the risk of developing infections when taking cyclosporine. But especially now, I hear more and more often the question, doctor, is it safe to use cyclosporine during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, before I answer this question, I would like to let you know a little bit more about cytophilin. Cyclosporine cannot work in the body without cytophilin. This is a protein which is in almost every cell and it is extremely important for the human body and it is a key player for the human diseases. Cytophilin, or more precisely, cytophilin A is a major player in diseases such as asthma, cancer, atherosclerosis, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, infections, and most importantly, inflammatory or autoimmune diseases. So cytophilin, the protein, which is the target protein for cyclosporine, is responsible both for the autoimmune diseases and also plays a major role in viral replication. Most probably, through cytophilin, cyclosporine has the capability to inhibit the replication of some viruses. There are some data which show that cyclosporine has the capability of inhibiting the replication of some viruses. In other cases, cyclosporine is increasing the replication of the viruses and then in some cases there are conflicting results. The most best known virus which is being inhibited by cyclosporine is the hepatitis C virus. However, there are also data that cyclosporine may inhibit the replication of the influenza virus, of the rotavirus, of the HIV, and currently, most importantly, the coronavirus. When looking at the coronavirus and diseases which are associated with coronavirus infections, especially COVID-19, then cyclosporine not only does not put patients at higher risk of developing the disease or having a more severe course, but the contrary, cyclosporine has been suggested as one of potential treatments in patients with coronavirus-associated diseases. Currently, researchers are looking into developing derivatives of cyclosporine, which will have the antiviral activity, but will not have the immunosuppressive potential. So this will most probably develop into a new group of antiviral drugs. So this is why we have published recently an article in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, where we have written 
that, in our opinion, cyclosporin therapy during the COVID-19 pandemic is not a reason for concern. However, of course, we encourage our patients to always follow all the rules of the COVID-19 prevention. So to summarize, our concern that cyclosporin may increase the risk of every infection is not true. In fact, there are some infections in which cyclosporin may have a beneficial effect and one of them are the coronavirus infections. I was talking today about cyclosporin because we use it a lot in our patients with hair disorders. And if you would like to hear more about hair diseases or trichoscopy, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for being here. See you next time.